Hey guys, so about a week ago or two, I had made a video on uh, original Xbox hard drives. And uh, those were the big uh, 3.5 inch hard drives that you could find in desktops and stuff like that. So uh, I had concluded that obviously taking them apart and selling them the parts separately was worth a lot more than just selling the hard drive itself. But I wanted to make a video uh, specifically on laptop size hard drives. These actually came from PlayStation 3s. They're all dead. Uh, their health is practically at zero, so uh, they're no good. Uh, sometimes people buy these on eBay, but usually they buy the bigger ones. Uh, 500 gigabyte, 320, uh, 1 terabyte. I guess they buy them and fix them. Uh, or I'm not sure what they do, they sell the boards because the boards might work uh, and stuff like that so <clears throat> these are all uh, under 320, they're under 160 or 160 gigabytes and lower so value is not there really so I am going to go through the steps I went through last time to see is it worth taking these smaller ones apart compared to what we did with the bigger ones because obviously the bigger ones there's more aluminum there's more of everything so let's see what we can do with these hard drives so one of these guys weighs about 3.2 ounces and using board source prices we're talking about 50 cents a pound All right, so, so we're talking about if we send this hard drive in we're gonna get about 10 cents so now let's see what happens if we separate the board and the drive uh, sorry if we separate the board from the drive see if that's going to bring us any more money because the board itself is about eleven dollars a pound so let's see what that the difference is and if it's a positive difference So we got the board out, one more screw. There we go. So we got the board out. So just the hard drive. Let's zero that. So we drop from about 3.2 to 2.7 ounces for the hard drive. And they pay 20 cents a pound when it doesn't have the board. So 2.7. So once you remove the board, you lose about 7 cents. So let's see if we can get 7 cents out of this board. So just this part of the hard drive here, we're at 3.4 cents. And this is 0.4 ounces for just the board. Actually, no, sorry. Yeah, 0.5 ounces. Around 0.4 to 0.5 <laughs> keeps on going up and down. So let's go with the 0.4. So we're talking about 27 cents so there's a huge jump I find compared to the bigger heavier boards what? I think if I remember correctly it went from about uh, 
80 cents, I think, for the big board. Uh, sorry, for the big uh, hard drives, the 3.25s. I think they were about 80 cents for one drive, if I remember correctly. It was like 1.6 pounds or something like that. And with with when, once we removed the board, the value didn't go down much just because of the actual hard drive being so heavy and the board being so light. So I think it went up, I think, by like 15 or 20 cents. I don't remember uh, exactly. You'd have to check the other video. But uh, this really jumps in value because this as a whole was giving you about... 10 cents and then you remove this you get three set about three and a half cents for this and you get another 27 cents for this so you almost tripled your value just by well you actually did triple your value just by removing it because now selling them separately you're getting about 30 cents 30.5 cents so definitely worth at least removing the board and the drive so let's go to the next step of actually opening this guy up and selling the parts separately the aluminum the uh, platters uh, maybe any copper whatnot uh, we find in there So let's get this pop out. got this. Well, there's one more screw somewhere. It's probably hidden in here somewhere. And there you go. We found the hidden screw. There you go. So we got a hunk of aluminum. There you go. There's even some nice gold in here. Some gold tips. I'll show you guys shortly. Got the hard drive magnets. Uh, I don't know if the small ones sell that well on eBay. In my other video they were going about 50 cents a set. If these do sell the smaller ones it probably won't be 50 cents. It'll probably be 10 to 20 cents because there's not even 20, probably 10 cents a set because they're so tiny. So we got that. Now let's remove the platter. And even the uh, the platter from what I checked on eBay wasn't worth that much. They were about, I think, on average 50 cents I think each but uh, it was still worth putting them on eBay compared to selling them uh, to board sort. Board sort pays about or not about as, as of right now as of today 25 cents obviously that goes up and down Oh, 
Wow, okay, that platter just shattered. <laughs> so obviously you can't sell that on eBay. But I'm guessing Bortzart would probably take it. So this is like a mix of glass compared to the bigger ones that were more me metallic, more bendy. So this is more of a glass type of platter, <laughs> completely shattered. Let's put this on the side. So let's pick up some of the pieces that fell and let's see how much of a platter we have. So zero that. So platter wise. Platter wise we have about oh, that didn't work very well. We barely have an ounce. Yeah, about 0.3 ounces of platter. Or point two, it changed already. <laughs> so point two of an ounce, which is not much, would give you not even a penny worth. So that was less than a penny. We have aluminum. And this is what I was talking about, the gold. I found this in one of these hard drives and it has a bunch of gold pins and some uh, monolithic capacitors on the back so that's a nice little extra piece for the gold recovery guys so there's a negligible amount of copper which is this here so I'm not even gonna weigh it because it's not gonna it's not going to give me anything. Alright, so how much aluminum? So we have the aluminum left. Let's see, so... We have 1.9 ounces of aluminum at 50 cents so six cents about of aluminum so let's see if we completely take everything apart So by separating everything apart, we end up getting uh, about 33 cents. So I don't know if it's super worth it to go through the hassle of taking everything apart. Just because you only gain about two and a half cents. So uh, unlike the bigger hard drive, I think it ended up being a, a crazy amount when you split everything up because the platters were heavy. It was a lot more of aluminum. It was just a lot more than these laptop ones. There was barely any weight internally. Uh, for example, platters and everything. So I would say compared to the bigger hard drives, the 325s, I would just remove the board from these and send in the hard drives and the board separately because you get three, 30 and a half cents doing it that way. Going through the hassle of unscrewing everything, and like you see, the the, the, the platter just shattered, just trying to remove it. So uh, we can get cut with that. So I, I just don't see it being worth it to take the next step 
just to get about three cents. Even if you get ten cents for the for the magnets, I just don't find it's worth it uh, compared to the the other bigger hard drives. We were at eighty cents. Then we removed the board, and it went up to about a dollar, a dollar ten, I think. And then once we removed everything, it jumped to almost like four bucks or something, from what I remember. So in the case of laptop slash PS3 hard drives, take the board out, sell the board and the hard drive separately, you'll maximize profit. And most won't waste as much time because the extra unscrewing and everything ends up getting you two and a half cents compared to again like I said the bigger hard drives where you get a big jump of like two three bucks so uh, just to give you an idea I had one two three four five of these so we're talking about let's say five six including this one actually we'll take this one apart so we'll leave it apart See, this one almost gives us a pound so we'll go with this so right here selling these hard drives as is we would get about 50 cents because <laughs> we have a pound here so right away that kind of sucks so we remove the board we instantly triple, we get a buck fifty for all of them. And if you want to go through the stuff, uh, the steps of unscrewing it, you'll get what did we say? We said it was thirty-three cents. So we'll, we'd go from a dollar fifty right now. We'd go to a dollar sixty-five approximately. Uh, you can also try selling these on eBay as a lot of broken whatever people buy them for the boards but like I said I really doubt you'll get much just because these are smaller size drives they're 160 and under but from what I noticed people who sell the boards or fix them or whatever they usually want 320 or higher so you can always try on eBay but I'd guess you'd get after shipping and fees and all the other stuff probably wouldn't get you'd get very similar to what you'd be getting just taking out the board and selling the drive apart so uh, that's about it for this video like subscribe uh, comment if you're uh, up for it if you have any suggestions on what you want me to scrap next uh, I can always look for stuff See if I can find the item and uh, do a video on it. I've done it before. So uh, talk to you guys soon.